Cold Break here with another Lego Marvel Super Heroes video, and this time I have seven custom characters I made to show you. They are all from Tomb Raider, so they're all Tomb Raider characters. So, anyways, let's get started. Up first is Larson. This he um I think he's a character in Tomb Raider, and he sort of looks like that. So I don't really remember much about him, but he's in the very first Tomb Raider game. This one, he shoots his gun here. And he stands there and looks all menacing and stuff. So he's pretty cool. I like him. Next, we have the Lara, the Lara Croft, from the newest uh, Lara Croft uh, Tomb Raider game. I think released in 2013, I think. So she's got a bow. She has this kind of wilderness look to her, and she has the bow, which I think is like her signature weapon in the 2013 Tomb Raider, so there she is. She's actually pretty fun to play with, so I like her. She's a pretty good character. Next up, we have the Atlantean Crawler, and he is a character, an enemy you face during one certain level in the very first Tomb Raider. So, this guy's from the first one, and he is called a crawler, so he crawls. And then he hops a little bit. So this is actually kind of like what they look like in the game, and definitely how they move, and they pounce on you and stuff. Very jumpy. So, there's the crawler. Next we have Lara from the original game here. And this is what she sort of looks like. I tried to get her to have twin pistols, and I failed. But this is what she sort of looks like, and she's got her gun and everything. And her costume, I tried to make it look like what she wears in the original game. So she is from the very first one. I'm pretty sure she looks like this in the second and third also. So, moving on. Next up on our list is Pierre, one of the most annoying characters from the classic Tomb Raider. Now he, um, in Lego form here, is pretty dang awesome actually. He's pretty fun to play with. I like playing with him. So, um, he carries his big machine gun rifle thing around. It goes like this. Ha! Ah, suck it, Dr. Doom! We're Dr. Doom. It's Pierre here, so. Jeez, I'm dead. Just die. Already. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Um, anyways, he's pretty fun to play with. I actually do like playing him with him. Big machine gun, and he looks like totally awesome. Next up, we have one of the um, saddest, kind of most disappointing ones here. I mean, it's kind of hard to do a horseman without a horse. But anyways, here we go. The Atlantean Horseman. Now, he does look sort of like an Atlantean horseman, without the horse, and he does, oops, he does use this, like, shoot the fire thing, like in the original Tomb Raider, by the way, he is from the original Tomb Raider, closest I could get to having a weird looking Atlantean horse is Ghost Rider's bike, which is actually kind of fun, so here is Ghost, I mean, not Ghost Rider, now I'm getting mixed up. So, Lantern Horse. Here you go. He's actually pretty fun to play with, though. So I like him. Just for that reason. Last but not least, we have the Atlantean Boss. Now with legs. Yeah, sorry about that. It's kind of hard to make a legless character. So this is the closest I could get to the Atlantean Boss from the original Tomb Raider game, who, of course, had no legs. This is um, basically the Atlantean boss with legs. So, ooh. smash. Yeah, so basically he's abomination, just uh, red and like, palish brown. So, beige, I guess. Alright guys, thank you for watching my two Lego Marvel Tomb Raider Customs, and don't forget to check out my Tomb Raider Customs mini game video. So, uh, that'll be fun. Can't wait for that to come out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, 
and now I leave you with Crawlers on Bicycles. Keep on building!